all aboard for travel day! Hey! <laughs> a.m. The location, I promise you wouldn't be able to guess, it is the Palatka, Florida train station. Oh, we wait on the train. There is a small train museum inside. Let's go in and check it out. Ooh, this is fun. I guess this is what the station looked like in its heyday. See, there it is. All right. Looks like I had the right idea for today. Eh, eh, pretty good, right? It's really cool how much stuff they have in here. So of course they have like a ton of like model planes and stuff like that, but they have like a lot of like old school like operational stuff like I guess this was used to like control like signaling and stuff I don't know what that was but that looks important this is a bench seat from um a train let's see it says it was from Louisville and Nashville Pullman Lounge super cool they have an old uh dining car menu and it's funny because it says silver surface and we're getting on the silver meteor train today they have like the ticket punches, pocket watches. Ooh, and look at this, it's like a big lantern. This stuff is really cool. Take it to her to kick you out the train. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? We made it. Look at these seats. They're nice. They're actually like really nice. Splash. Get the table coming down. It's just like a, a plane. Look at this. Feet up, feet propped. Ooh, next to the trade table, they have two plugs right here, two standard US outlets, which is very, very nice. And they work, which is extra nice. Also, free Wi Fi should you need it. Just accept and connect. Why are we on this locomotive? Well, we're headed to Miami to get on a cruise ship. Freedom of the seas. Now, you're probably wondering. Hoffman's, why are you taking the train? Is it cheaper to take the train instead of driving? No, not no. really. <laughs> no, ah, but is it quicker to take the train instead of driving? No, <laughs> no, it's not at all. It's gonna take like five extra hours. Yeah. But why are we taking the train today? Because it's fun. Because it's fun <laughs> and that's the only reason you need sometimes. But if there was a bonus reason, it would be that it would prevent me from having to drive to and in Miami for a nice change of pace, so. <laughs> it's a win! Okay, here's what the seats were set to in recline mode. Now put it back to standard. <laughs> Are you comfortable? Not the slightest. <laughs> We've reached our first train stop. We can't really see the sign, but it's the land. This station's really cute though. Look at the, the green railings. You can't really see because these windows are filthy, but they're there. They are there. 
So most stops go really quickly. They are in and out of there in the flash. But some stops are considered a smoke slash stretch stop. And this is the first one of those on our journey, which is Orlando. Guess what we saw? On board the train. A kitty. A cat. Oh, one of the people next to us has a kitty. Well, they got off now. Yeah, they left. They got off at Orlando. That kitty has a date with Mickey. Lucky. Don't tell Minnie. Show you this this is pretty cool um, this is on Amtrak's website it's called track a train or train tracker and you can see where your train is um, in real time so this arrow right here this is us um, this is our train and you can see the whole path that you take um, so we started here in Palaka you can see we went all the way down that's where we are right now and then we are going to be heading all the way down to the Miami stop, which is the very, very end of the line. Um, and just to give you an idea, this whole trip is going to be about a 10 hour ride for us. And tickets cost about $100 per person round trip. So you saw our seat set up. Luggage racks up above. We can store your bags. Now, if you have really big bags, they have separate storage areas for them. But like our carry-on suitcases, backpacks can go right up top there. And I did want to show they also have restrooms too, right in this area. So you can see here, this is what one of the smaller ones looks like. You have just the toilet there, the seat covers, and then the sink went down. You have the soap there, towels underneath the trash can, and then opposite that they have the between the cars as well. You can push the button up top here or use your foot to push the one down below. So kind of just give it a push and it automatically slides. We'll go between the cars here. So this is like where you get on and off when they open these up when you stop. And then the same thing, just push and go through. So they have a uh, dining and lounge car area as well. So you can see they have booth seating, nice big booths with tables windows continue in here as well and they do have food and drink available for purchase here's a look at the drink menu and they look at the food menu of course it is an additional cost here so you have the food service area here we could check out there and then they do have condiments here ketchup mustard mayo salt Pepper looks like you even have relish there. Anything you need. This is a good look at the uh, dining car kind of whole setup there as well. If you are not interested in getting something out of the dining car, you are allowed to bring food on board, which is super nice. And here is our snack lineup for the trip. Also, these are really, really good. Um, so if you happen to find yourself in CVS and wonder, ooh, should I buy these or not? Like we were like 10 minutes before boarding the train. Uh, the answer is you should, you should buy these. They're really good. This kind of amazes me many people take trains. You know what I mean? I thought this was just kind of like a like a quirky thing like we thought was gonna be fun and you know the train would maybe be empty. Like no. The train the train is full and the stops are full. I don't know. It's crazy. I kinda of thought like train travel maybe wasn't as big of a deal as it used to be, but it is. People people are choo chewing and getting on the trains. an update. Here's the real-time view and here's the bird's eye view. 
a bunch of grass <laughs> with some trees and more grass. I will say the majority of this trip, at least so far, has been a couple of like towns here and there, followed by a lot of woods and uh, a lot of farmland and more woods. Yeah, lots of pine trees. I mean, that's Florida. That's that's the real Florida. This is the truth. We're bringing the facts <laughs> on this channel. Pine trees. And also it rained a little bit at some point, so you're getting the full experience. Perfect. <laughs> also, I'm sure we've been nailing love bugs because it is love bug season right now. So from two native Floridians, this is the real experience. This is real life. <laughs> Isn't that, wasn't that the real world saying? This is the, what? I know, I know the sweet life. This, I am in your life. This is the train line. <laughs> I don't know why, I would have thought the train would have stopped well further back to give plenty of room, but I guess not. With very good reason, the Miami station is much bigger than the Palaka station. Ooh, and look at that cool mural. Me likey. courtyard already. Give me some light up ombre effects and I'm in. This, this courtyard is hopping. This might be the busiest courtyard by Marriott we've ever been at. And we made it to our room. It looks like the other ones we've stayed in, but that's why we love courtyard. It's a good deal and they have extremely comfortable beds. Always love these cool little couches they have here. The desk setup that has like the under desk that you can pull out and use as a table. The TV comes out always nice. And for this day, we've never stayed at this particular location before. We got a beautiful view of the interstate. Can't beat that. And some buildings off in the distance there. That's what that's what you're paying the big bucks for. Right? <laughs> we 
took a lift to get here, and then we just did something we've never done, which is use Uber Eats to get some food. Yeah, never done that. Never done anything like that, actually. We usually just have our cars, so we usually drive to go get food. But I thought we'd have something delivered. Can't go wrong with some panda. And thus our travel day comes to a close. I gotta say, this went by a lot faster than I would have thought it would have. I know, right? Like, you'd think 10 hours on a train, ooh. But it, it actually goes by pretty fast. It's nice being able to take a nap, get up and walk and stretch. You know what? It's kind of like a plane ride, only you have more room. Yes. It's it's like a very comfortable plane ride. Right. <laughs> I, I enjoyed it. I did as well. Of course, I was the conductor today, so I mean, why well, wouldn't I enjoy it? It's sad that our travel day, our train day, has come to an end, but good news is the fun is just beginning. Tomorrow, we're going to get another car, lift, Uber thing uh -huh. over to the cruise port because we are going to be boarding Royal Caribbean's Freedom of the Seas, and uh, it's going to be a cool time and a little something special in store for the, uh, for the accommodations of that one. More fun outfits tomorrow as well. <laughs> well, we want to thank you for joining us for today's <laughs> video. We hope you enjoyed our awesome train trip down here to Miami, and we hope we will see you back tomorrow and all the other days for our Freedom of the Seas adventure. But we are going to sign off for tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Happy, Happy travels! travels. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs>